the College of Old Westbury. Alongside Nico Fred, I'm David Just. Good evening, New York City, and welcome to 25th and Lex, the campus of Baruch College. We are live here at the Arc Arena for a doubleheader of Baruch basketball. First, the Lady Bearcats will host the United States Merchant Marine Academy at 530, followed by the, the men playing the College of Old Westbury in their home opener. Alongside Nico Fred, I'm David Just. And Nico, we have a nice, exciting game of basketball. Monday night, the women dro dropped their game by just five points, but a uh, nail biter all the way down to the very end. Yeah, and uh, yeah, hopefully, I mean, you know, Baruch now 0 and 1 on the season, but hopefully they can, you know, come in this game and tie up their season at 1 and 1 apiece. The Merchant Marine Academy, a tough opponent tonight for them as they're coming into their first game of the season. They had an opportunity to see some CUNY play in their in their last game, which was just a scrimmage. So they'll be in seeing their first live action of the regular season. Um, obviously a big game coming out last time, 40 of 10 from Mia Castillo. But we expect to see some uh, nice support from the rest of the starting five here and seeing how deep Coach Catrozos goes on their bench. So we are moments away from tip-off here at the Arc Arena. Again, this game is at 5.30, and then we'll have the men playing at 7.30. Momentarily, we'll be passing over the to over to our PA announcer, Marty Collins, for our national anthem and our starting lineups. Now, let's play ball. 
So a beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner from Marty Collins. And we are moments away from tip-off here at the ARC Arena. Again, it's Baruch hosting the United States Merchant Marine Academy. Baruch coming off a nail-biter last game. And, uh, Nico, something that gives Baruch a little bit of trouble. We'll see how they deal with it tonight. Some of the size that the Merchant Marine Academy is going to be coming with tonight. Yeah, uh, definitely have a lot of players with a lot of size with their these two, Jana McIntyre and Carole Barton, each at 5, 10, and 6, and 1. So both a forward and a guard, they're going to definitely be a problem to handle with down low in the paint. So it'll be Barton and McCray to tip things off here at center court. It'll be Merchant Marine in their away blues. Gray numbers, black trim, and Baruch in their traditional home whites, light blue numbers, dark blue trim. Barton wins the tip, and we are underway here with Winston to bring it up here for the Merchant Marine Academy. Castillo picks her up out at half court, looking for options. Baruch setting up in a 2-3 zone, early gone here. Inside pass to Mac, uh, excuse me, to Gra Grassler, and she's able to get the first bucket of the night. Soto Valley Young, handoff to Castillo on the baseline. Shot a little too strong, no good. McCray fighting for the rebound. Able to corral it on the near side. Looking for options, almost gets stripped from her. Handoff to Castillo. Steps into a three-point shot. Off front iron, no good. And Grassler on the rebound. It'll be Winston in the front court looking for options. Another entry pass now. It's Barton this time. Woohoo around the now. Can't get it to go. Good rebound there by McCray. Castillo pushing the pace. Up to Leung on the far side. Cross court pass, Thornton Lewis. We've seen her range in previous games. She swings it around the perimeter to Leung up top. Now it's McCray on the far side. Castillo coming off a pick. Takes the handoff. Crossover move. Nope. Said she'll dribble back out. Slow things up as Grassler out on her. Nice pump fake from Castillo. And she's able to get Baruch's first basket of the night. Yeah, way to be patient there by Castillo. Size her up, sides up her opponent. And then just... Went in the paint at home pace and scored that easy jumper. So it's a near side three from Jackson. That's off front iron. Leung skies for the rebound. Able to pull it down. Up ahead of the pack to McCray. Who ooh, can't get it to go. Rebound there by number 15, Stramski. And it'll come the other way now with Winston. Stramski looking for options. Gives inside to Barton at the free throw line. And she gets her first bucket of the night. So Castillo to walk things up for the Bearcats. Step back jumper, ooh, nice move there. Ooh, stripped though by number 21, Grace, ja Grace Jackson. Winston the other way, takes some contact, no call. I think the team was expecting a whistle and Barton able to lay it up. Now Thornton Lewis here on the near side wing, looking for options, has Leung up top. Winston out on her, Castillo posted up. Near side, bounce pack traction goes to Baccarella. Now Castillo has it on the far side wing. Crossover move, step back jumper from the elbow. Wide right, no good, and it's going to go back to the Merchant Marine Academy. Yeah, Castillo here trying to get, get going early. You know, still, you know, great move there. Just couldn't end in the bucket, but you can tell, like, her game, she's slow and steady for her. She'll find her shot soon enough. Stramski quick to pull. Shot no good on the near side, and uh, good defense there and forcing Merchant Marine Academy into a quick shot. So now Leung will bring it across the timeline here. Bounce pass near side to McCray. Look, McCray turns, looking for options. Baccarella straight on. Castillo cuts through, now it's outside to Thornton Lewis. Takes a nice screen there from McCray. Shot off back iron, a little too strong. No good, but a nice offensive set there from the Bearcats. They're going to take too many steps after the entry pass inside to Jackson. And it'll go back to the Bearcats. So good defense here in the first three minutes from Baruch against some of the bigs that we spoke about here in the early going. Yeah, and still a 6-2 lead. Baruch's still right in it. So shot from Leung, a bit strong. And it's Jackson who comes away with it out of the uh, 
correction, makes that Grassler who comes away with that out of the pack. Winston now over to Jackson on the near side. Entry pass, nice hands by McCray. Able to rip that away in the intended pass for Grassler underneath. And now it's Castillo to push into the front court. Finds Thornton Lewis near side. She's going to pull the jumper. And she's able to knock that one down. And her first points of the night that they're going to say was inside the arc. So it'll be a 6-4 ball game coming in on four minutes gone here in the first quarter. Yeah, great pass by Castillo. Way to see her open, open girl in the corner for that, for the, for the open shot, high percentage shot. And a shot there by Barton, no good. It's still loose. Thornton and Stramski uh, fighting for it. It's still loose, and Castillo comes away with it for the Bearcats. Over to Leung on the far side. Mid-range jumper pull up. And, oh, that's a round and out. No good. But Cray in there fighting for the rebound. It was Jackson who hit the deck for Merchant Marine Academy. Grassler who comes away with it. And now Winston to walk it, walk it up the floor for the Merchant Marines. Winston up top, bounce pass inside to Grassler. Ball's loose, it go, rolls into the hands of Barton, and it's going to be a jump ball. Nice play by McCray. Been impressed with her so far tonight, dealing with some of the bigs for Merchant Marine Academy. Yeah, great defense there. Not not letting, not giving up anything easy by Baruch. So it'll be Leung to bring it into the front court for the Bearcats. Mitchell has it up top, just checked into the game. Bounce pass near side to Thornton Lewis. And they're gonna call a moving screen there. I believe it's gonna be on Precious Mitchell. That's her first, so it'll go back to the Mariners. So now Winston on the far side wing. Leung out on her, Stramski swings the ball near side. Over to number 20, Crutcher, who just checked into the game. Now inside to Grassler. Castillo trying to pick her, uh, rip it away from her. Shot no good from Grassler, shooting over basically essentially a triple team there. And now it'll be Castillo to bring it into the front court for the Bearcats. Ooh, nice crossover move, double crossover, triple crossover from Castillo. Pulls it back out. Thornton Lewis gonna pull the three. Shot off left iron, no good. Great look there by Thornton Lewis, though, and even a great move there from Castillo. Yeah, Castillo there a little shake and bake. Pass off on that shot, but I think she had, a, she had, she was open for when she, when she lost her defender that split second. But nevertheless, still trying to find her teammates for a better shot. Ooh, the southpaw Crutcher knocks down her first shot of the game. Smooth stroke from the near side. So now it's Castillo on the far side wing. Crutcher out on her. Active hands from Stramski. Thornton Lewis able to keep it. On the front, in the front court, excuse me, Leung, elbow jumper, shot off back iron, no good. Grassler soars for the rebound. And the Mariners quick to come the other way. Stramski now inside the Barton. Barton gonna turn. Shot from the base, uh, excuse me, the el uh, elbow, no good. And now it's Leung to push it the other way with the Baccarella. Baccarella going in, right into the lane, kicks it back out to Leung, who will slow things down and set up the Baruch offense. Bounce pass to Mitchell, Barton out on her. Thornton Lewis calling for it. She's cutting through. Pass to Thornton Lewis was tipped by Barton, and now it's into the hands of Jackson. Excuse me, Grassler, check that. Grassler going baseline against Mitchell. And they're going to say offensive foul there. So it's nice defense there by Mitchell. We've seen some defense from some of the Bearcat bigs here in the early going as Brianna Lopez checks into the game. Yeah, Baruch playing good defense, just holding the, the Marines to just 4 of 11 shooting, 36% from the field. Offensive foul against Castillo. They said they're going to shoot through the elbow. And it's going to go back to the Mariners. That's only Castillo's first, but maybe, maybe a bit uh, on the wrong side of an unfortunate call. So now Winston, Stramski inside to Barton. Barton can't finish with the with the uh, with the jump shot from mid range, and now it's going the other way with Brianna Lopez. Lopez over to Thornton Lewis on the near side. She had some space. She pulls it back out. Now Lopez has it up top. Hand off to Castillo. 
Pressures Mitchell going baseline. Ooh, gets stripped from her. I think it was Barton with the active hands. Then Stramski comes away with the with the ball, gives it over to Winston, and Winston will walk it across the timeline. Entry pass to Barton. Active hands, I think, from both Castillo and Mitchell, and Baruch can push. They got numbers quickly. Oh, nice play there by Crutcher to get back in position, and they're going to say it was a foul against her as she tried to cut off Castillo from going to the basket, so it'll be Baruch's ball right underneath. <laughs> So inbound there to Lopez up top. Baccarella near side, uh, far side, excuse me, gives it off to Castillo. Castillo driving baseline. They're going to call a foul again on Crutcher. That's going to be quickly her second. You hear from the sideline, uh, Coach Cotrozos telling coaching his team, telling them we're trying to run a play, or trying to organize them. Castillo, base, a free throw line jumper is good. Nice crossover move to create a little bit of space and knock it down over the outstretched hand of Crutcher. Yeah, Castillo with that contested shot, but that 15 footer. You can tell she's definitely one of the best players for Baruch. She averaged 27.4 or 0.1 points per game last season. The senior out of Pleasant Valley as she goes again. Shot just a bit short off left iron. Yeah, earned Baruch Female Athlete of the Year last season and was named to the 2023-24 Division III All-Tournament team. So Castillo, definitely a good, a good player for Baruch and someone and the, a player that they're lucky to have. So Santa Sierra gets her first basket of the night and uh, yeah, um, you're comfortable with her shooting from, from I would even say mid-range, just inside the three-point line. Those are the shots you'll live and die with if you're the Bearcats. Now Castillo into the lane. Open free throw line jumper as Crutcher hits the deck. Shot no good. Crossover move from Lopez. Lopez into the paint. Ooh, trying to get it inside to McCray. Shot taken though by, uh, excuse me, pass taken by Barton. Barton almost losing it. It's gonna be a double dribble and it's gonna go back to the Bearcats. Yeah, Lopez had the right idea there, but she just passed it into traffic, causing a turnover. So it'll be Leung to walk things up for the Bearcats. Leung, Baccarello, Lopez, uh, yeah, Lopez, excuse me, McCray, and Castillo on the floor for, the, for Baruch. Now Leung working on Winston. Entry pass inside to Lopez. She'll pull it back out. Leung's going to have to force one up over the outstretched arms of Winston there. Shot off right iron. No good, but Baruch was getting late into the shot clock, and now it'll be Winston to bring it up for the Mariners. Winston on the far side. Castillo out on her. Bounce pass up top to number four, Brown, who just checked into the game. Near side three for Merchant Marine Academy. No good. Rossler on the rebound, and she's able to pivot and lay it right in. And that will do it for the first. So after one, Bar Baruch 6, Mariners 12. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. So, Nico, one, one quarter in the book so far. Uh, Baruch, you know, I think they've had opportunities to find their shots, but really struggling with some of the, the interior size that we spoke about at the beginning of the game from the Merchant Marine Academy. Yeah, but you know, despite that, despite the outcome of the first quarter, with the Mariners still up 12 to six, Baruch, yeah, they're they're still holding their own against those uh, against those uh, players, holding them to just six to 15 from the field. And really, for Baruch, it's really about getting their offensive game going, right? Shooting only 20 percent from the field, you know, and that is the story of the game right now. They're uh, they're 3 of 15. You mentioned the Mariners, 6 of 15. You know, you get some of those uh, shots to go and even out that shooting percentage, get into a, uh, we have a tie ball game right here. Yeah, and also, um, more importantly, trying to get Castillo going, you know. Um, leading scorer for this team last season as well. Uh, dropped 40 last game. So you see that she's trying to get to her spot, trying to get to her shots. And um, 
she'll get it going as the game goes on. Yeah, it's about getting her a, a bit in rhythm and making see once you start seeing the ball hit the bottom of the net, it starts hitting the bottom of the net a little bit more frequently. Yeah. So we'll see going into the second quarter, you know, Baruch, whatever they have to clean up and how they'll execute coming into the second quarter. And if you're just joining us, we do have a second game of a doubleheader today. The men will have their home opener tonight against the College of Old Westbury. That will be at 7.30, so be sure to turn, tune in for that after women's action here as we enter the second. We're moments away from, from starting the second quarter. Just a, a little bit of ad, admin work here on the, uh, at the scorer's table, and then we should be, should be good to go. On the other end, for the Mariners, Grassler and Barton, the two bigs, have really been the, uh, the catalyst for the offense for Merchant Marine Academy here in the first quarter. Yeah, Grassler, a uh, sophomore out of Millbrook, New York, standing at six foot, averaged 13.8 points last season. As, yeah, just. She's got four here in the early going. Baruch able to force a miss though on that first possession. And now it's Leung, bounce pass inside to McCray. McCray, nice step through move. Looks, looked like she went through some contact from Grassler. No call. Grassler was able to come away with the rebound there for the Mariners. Entry pass again. Nice active hands by McCray. Grassler can't finish on the layup. Good defense by McCray. Way to affect that shot. And she's her and Mitchell both playing playing the forward have had their hands full with some of the size. But to their to their credit, they've been doing a great job so far here in the early portion of the game. So Baccarella taking that pick, gives it over to McCray on the far side. Now Leung straight on, thinks about the shot. Now instead settles for the mid-range. Unable to go, but had the ha nice job there by Leung to create some space as the pass ahead up to Stanis, Stanis, Santa Sierra, excuse me. And it's going to be a turnover for the Mariners and it'll go back to the Bearcats. So Leung will walk things up across the timeline. Winston out on her, picks her up half court. Nice layup and drive there by Castillo. Carving her way to the basket and able to finish with the right hand. Is Castillo going to will herself? You see it every chance she gets. If she finds, a, finds an opportunity, she's going to take it to score. And nice defensive play there by Castillo. Gets her hands on the pass. Ooh. Lopez trying to go straight at the basket. Might have got taken away from her. Now bounce pass it back inside to Lopez. Hand off to Leung. Mid-range jumper. High arcing shot. No good. Leung actually able to get her own rebound. Very impressive play. Thinks about the slope. Gives it back out to Lopez. Looking to reset. Castillo. A little bit of a Euro step in the lane. Shot no good. And they're going to say it went off the Bearcats last. And it'll go back to the Mariners. Yeah, Castillo with that little uh, Ginobili there. The Euro step from her right to left, but just short on the little, on the little push shot. So Winston has the ball. We've seen her be the predominant ball handler here for the Mariners. Ball swung around the perimeter. Entry pass into Grossler. Shot no good. Rebound still loose. They're going to say it went off the Bearcats last underneath, so it'll stay right here for Merchant Marine. Lewis checking back into the game for the Bearcats. And Baccarello will come to the bench for the first time tonight. Ooh, nice find there, trying to find Barton, but it went off her hands twice and into the waiting hands of Castillo. Quickly the other way, gets it, fadeaway shot. She's blocked by Barton, though. I think she was, Castillo was trying to get a high arcing shot to go over the outstretched hand. Unable to do so. Barton providing some serious size in there at six foot one. Yeah, and that's the size we talked about. She, yeah, way to get that deflection on Castillo and allow the, the Mariners to push on the other end. But as we see Castillo now. Nice play there by Castillo, able to lay it in after the pump fake. And interim coach Alexa Shields wants to talk things over. She's in her first season here at as coach at Merchant Marine Academy but uh yeah I mean if you know a little bit of a uh, 4-0 run here for the Bearcats and if your coach 
Shields, you definitely want to start settle that down as you start, as to your point there, Nico, from earlier, don't want to see Castillo get into too much of a rhythm. Yeah, and I think that's what definitely the Western Marine Academy is trying to do, the Mariners trying to slow her down. But again, Castillo is going to will herself in any way possible to get any, her, any shot she needs or to get to any of her spots. So coming in on three minutes gone here in the second. Baruch trail now only by two after that quick 4-0 run to start the second quarter. Castillo's got eight, four steals and three boards leading all scorers in points and steals. So it'll be Winston to walk it up here for the Mariners. Rook again setting up in the 2-3 zone. Nope, they're going to say too many steps there from number 11, Santa Sierra. So it's going to go back to the Bearcats, and the Bearcats have an opportunity to tie up the ball game here early in the second quarter. Yeah, the Mariners, that's their 11th turnover now of the game. That just goes to show us the credit. Brooks playing good defense. As McCray is able to lay it in, that's Brooks' 10th point off those 11 turnovers. So not only has the Merchant Marine Academy been, been faulty with the basketball, but then the Bearcats have made him pay. Yeah, that was what a nice find by Castillo. Just as much as she can, as she can score, she's able to, she can also dish out the ball. As the free throw line jumper there by number 21, Grace Jackson, good to go, and that's her first points of the night. So now Lopez has it inside, finds Castillo, a little bit of inside out play. Now Leung straight on, swings it one more time to McCray. Good ball movement here from the Bearcats, who shot a, just a bit too strong from Castillo, and they're gonna call a foul on the Bearcats on the loose ball, and it'll go back to the Mariners. So now Barton going against the double team, kicks it back outside, near side to Sidney Brown. Winston has it up top, over to Jackson. Brown's gonna pull a three, shot off back iron, no good. Lopez and Stramski fighting for it, and it's gonna be a jump ball, so it'll go back to the Bearcats. Good hustle defense there by Lopez to, to tie up Stramski underneath. Yeah, Lopez, the junior guard out of Brooklyn with that great hustle play. So now Thornton Lewis back up to Lopez. Baruch have been good breaking down the zone here and unfortunately as I say that, they're gonna turn it over and it'll go back to the Mariners as Baccarella checks back into the game. So Winston brings it into the front court, Stramski near side. Barton cuts through. Instead, they give it off to Jackson, who's able to knock down the baseline jumper. And after a 6-0 run by the Bearcats, the Mariners have answered with a 4-0 run themselves. Thornton Lewis splits two defenders, gives it outside to Leung. Looking for options, bounce pass inside to Castillo. Castillo turns, double team tump comes to hers. Barton pushes her back out to Jackson. Now Thornton Lewis, far side three, she's got the look. Shot a bit too strong, it's McCray. Now to Leung, Leung's gonna pull the near side three. She's able to get that one to drop. Big shot there by Leung gets her off the scoring schneid for the. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, gets her off the scoring schneid for the night. Yeah, what a nice shot by Leung, the senior guard out of Brooklyn. Ball moved around the perimeter, near side three, knocked down by Brown. She was left wide open and made, uh, made the Bearcats pay. Entry pass now into McCray. McCray going to work, gives it off to Leung. Leung swings it back on the far side to Thornton Lewis. Thornton Lewis gonna pull a three, just a bit short. But Baccarello there on the offensive board, kicks it outside to Leung. Leung's gonna pull back. Straight on three from Leung. Ooh, that was around and out, no good. Barton able to soar for the rebound for the Mariners. Winston on the near side to Brown. Brown shot, no good. She's trying to go back to back from the near side three. And last out of bounds off the Mariners, so it'll go back to the Bearcats. They trail 19 to 15 with four minutes remaining 
here in the first half. It's going to be a 30-second timeout for Coach Catrozos as he wants to talk things over. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. So come, going into this timeout, um, yeah, Baruch down 19-15. to 15. Uh, We see, again, still trying to – I don't think Baruch has – has they, have they had the lead yet, yet in this game? I'm pretty sure they haven't, but Castillo already leading the team with, excuse me, I believe he has, yeah, now eight points. We saw Leung there with that three. Hopefully she gets herself going, too. And, yeah, just on the, again, as for the defense, by the Bearcats, they've they've still, despite them being down four, they've managed to hold the Mariners to a low shooting a shooting percentage, which has allowed them to stay in this game. The Mariners now setting up with the full court trap. So Brew gonna have to make an adjustment here. It's McCray back to Castillo, and they get it across. The, nope, they're gonna say it was a 10 second against the Bearcats, and it's gonna go back to the Mariners. So a bit of a change of pace here from Shields coming out of that timeout. So now it's Winston out in the center court. Logo here gives it off to Shramsky on the far side. Looking for options. Winston swings it near side to Crutcher. Ball moving around the perimeter, trying to find Grassler inside. Instead, it's Shramsky over back out to Grassler at the free throw line. Had Winston in the corner. Grassler going to pull up around and out. No good. They're going to say foul on the floor after Baccarella had a clear rebound. And it's going to be on McCray. He's being a little too handsy on the box out. And it'll stay right there with the Mariners. Only the second team foul. So inside, right inside the Grassler, and she's able to get that one to rattle home. And a bit of a set play there coming off the inbounds for the Mariners. Now Leung in the front court. Crossover move. Winston reaches in. Pick there from McCray. Bounce pass now to McCray. Barton all the way out on her. Good opportunity for Baruch to attack the rim. Bounce pass into McCray. McCray trying to work on Barton. Not Barton not allowing that to happen. Castillo now up to Leung. Leung going to pull a straight on three. She's able to knock that one down. And Leung another big three here in the second quarter. She's got six. Yeah, Leung, senior, fourth year on the team, was named the 2023-24 Baruch Female Scholar Athlete of the Year last season. As that hit, that is her second basket of the game. Two threes to go so far. And Grassler able to knock down a uh, short range jumper there for the Mariners. Now Castillo quickly into the lane the other way, gives it outside to Baccarello. Open elbow shot just off the mark. And now it's, ooh, it's almost a dangerous pass from Barton to Crutcher. Back out to Winston. Now inside to Grassler. Grassler trying to go to work again, this time against McCray. Shot a bit short. No good. Ball's loose, batted around. It's going to be last off the Bearcats as Barton was trying to work against two defenders. Yeah, great defense there by McCray. Not allowing Barton to get, not allowing Barton, allowing Barton to put up the shot. Entry into Grassler inside to Barton, able to finish with the left hand, working against McCray. Barton's got six and seven boards. Straight on there from Leung. She's able to knock it down. A big second quarter from Elisa Leung. She now has nine of Baruch's 21. Yeah, way to lose a defender on that on that play there. Created a lot of separation. Her, her defender went flying, and she was wide open for that three. Free throw line jumper by Barton. No good. Grassler on the rebound. They're going to say it was on the floor, so the shot won't count, and it'll be side out for the Mariners. But back to that last possession, Leung really stepping up and don't let her get a hot hand because she's really feeling it right now. Nice steal by Castillo. And now Castillo quickly into paint the other way. Gives it off to Leung on the baseline who has the last nine points for the Bearcats. Ball still loose. Thornton Lewis. And Barton fighting for it. It's going to be a foul there on Stramski as it was McCray who hit the, uh, excuse me, Mitchell checked that, who hit the deck. Good hustle here by the Bearcats. And it'll stay with Baruch right underneath. 
So it'll be Castillo to inbound. Minute 33 remaining in the first half. Baruch Trail 25-21. Mitchell looking for options, finds Thornton Lewis. Leung gonna run through, but so is Castillo. Castillo up top working on Crutcher. Castillo step back mid-range jumper, shot just short. Stramski on the rebound. She'll quickly push into the front court, gives it near side Crutcher. The south ball gives it off to Winston on the baseline, and she's able to get that to go. Coming on the final minute remaining here in the first half, it's Castillo on the near side wing. Leung up top, looking for options, finds Thornton Lewis on the far side. Baruch swinging around the perimeter, now Castillo thinks about the drive, gives it off to Leung. Leung to Thornton Lewis, she's gonna pull a far, far wing three. Shot off, Grassler over the, nope, they're gonna call it on Baccarella, interesting. Oh, it is on Grassler, okay. That, <laughs> I thought that was uh, on Baccarella. Looks like Grassler went a bit over the back and it will be Bearcat ball right under the basket with 48 seconds remaining here in the first. First half. Castillo bounce pass into Leung. Couple bodies collide there with Baccarella and Winston. Leung wants it back on the far side. She's gonna clear out a little bit. Winston out on her, now it's Mitchell. Looking for Castillo, takes the pick from Mitchell. Nice move there by Castillo. Can't get the right hand floater to go though. Goes around and out, no good. And now it's Winston to bring it up for the Mariners. You can see that's Castillo's go-to move, that little pump fake right in there, but just rolled off the run on that shot. But that's what she seems to be comfortable with. So now about three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Grassler steps back, trying to find Barton inside. Instead, the ball swung around the perimeter. Winston straight on three. Bit of a push shot there. No good. Grasso is able to corral the rebound. Cross-court pass. Crutcher, left-handed shot. Off right rim. No good. It's going to be rebounded there by Baccarella. And that will do it for the first half. After, after two quarters of play, Baruch trail 27-21. Yep. Holding. So, yeah, 27-21 to end that first half. We saw that. The Bearcats were starting to get going from three with three of those threes coming from Leung. Um, so looking to see, still a six point game, looking to see what Brew can do come the second half. So we'll step aside for halftime. Once again, the score at half, Merchant Marine Academy Mariners 27, Baruch 21. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting.
And welcome back to the ARC Arena. We are moments away from the start of the second half between the Merchant Marine Mariners and your Baruch College Bearcats. Bearcats trail 27-21 off a, a nice shooting performance in the second quarter by Elisa Leung, who really got the Bearcats back into the ball game. Yeah, Alyssa Leung in that first half had three threes to go along now with nine points. She really put, yeah, she really helped Baruch there offensively. Baruch now as a team with three, uh, three of nine from the three compared to the Mariners who are, are one for five. So yeah, some of the keys for this half that Baruch should focus on is just containing Barrett and Grassler in the paint. You know, many times they've been getting fed down low. So just play good, good defense, try to deny them the ball and for Castillo to just continue to get going and for other players as well. So it's Barton now on the near side working against McCray. It's McCray, Castillo, Thornton, Lewis, Leung, and Baccarella for the Bearcats. As yeah, like as right Winston there. knocks down the first. Like right there, yeah, you want to stop Barton on the, down low in the paint because that's where they're going to feed her the ball. Three there on the far side by Thornton. Lewis, no good. She's had... A good trigger though from the outside here in the in the first half of the ball game. Ball swung around the perimeter. Now it's to Jackson up top looking for an entry pass from Grassler to Barton is able to finish off the glass and in. Now it's Dort Lewis on the far side, gives it up to Leung up top. Castillo step back jumper. Shot is good from the mid-range. Yeah, wait for Castillo. Nice move by Castillo. She definitely got a bag on her. But on that play, uh, stop, fake to her left, and pulled up for the mid-range. Ball swung around the perimeter. Jackson on the far side looking for options. Gives it over to Stramski. Thinks about the shot. Ooh, almost thought she traveled there. Gives it back to Jackson. Shot no good. Stramski, weak side rebound. Misses on the layup. Now Jackson on the weak side rebound trying to find... Not really sure who. I think Barton potentially right into the waiting hands of Baccarella, and it's Brew Ball. Castillo, nice crossover move, gives it outside to Leung. Back pass back to Castillo. Castillo right into the lane. Her shot blocked. Was a sea of bodies there, and now it's Grasso the other way for the Mariners. Now Barton inside to. Grassler, left-handed layup, no good. Barton able to crowd the rebound over some outstretched arms and able to lay it in in a quick 4-0 run here for the uh, for the Mariners. Yeah, Barton and Grassler playing that two-man punch. They're feeding each other the ball, both who are scoring in the paint. A nice play there by Leung to draw the foul. And it'll be Leung go to the line to shoot two. The foul there's gonna be at number 24, Kayla Winston, Kyra Winston, check that. See Morales checking into the ball game for the first time tonight as Thornton Lewis comes to the bench. And two of two. So 33 25. Baruch Trail, a little bit more than two minutes gone here in the third quarter. Entry pass inside to Grassler, working against Castillo. Nope, too many steps, and it'll go back to the Bearcats. See, again, right there, you want to contain Grassler in the paint. Barton and her doing that again, that two-man punch. Combining now both of them for 18 points. But wait, you know, good defense there. So that basket didn't count is going Bruce's way. So now Leung has it. On the near side, over to Castillo. Elbow jumper, round and out, no good. Nice rebound there by Morales. Ooh, had an open Castillo. She's able to corral the ball, three! And she knocks it down from the near side wing. And an eight point lead is cut to five. Yeah, what a shot there by Castillo to cut the lead down to five. Now Baruch with four, four of 11 from, no, four of 11 from three. 
There's a three there from Stramski, no good, but Winston able to crowd the rebound out to Barton inside to Grassler. And that shot won't go, a little too strong. Ball still loose, but Barton able to corral it, going up and under, and it's going to be working against McCray, and then Baruch just letting up a couple second chance opportunities for the Mariners. Yeah, you see uh, Coach Grisotto's a little upset in that last play, imploring his team to box out. That's how Barton was able to get that little putback. Second chance point. So with 6.38 remaining, Baruch trail by seven. You're watching Baruch Bearcats basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. Yep, so coming out of this timeout, hopefully Baruch can clean up you know, the defense there, not allowing for Barton and Grassler to get going like that. Like I said before, both those, both those players combined for 18 points. They're going to continue to do that two-man punch, trying to beat Baruch down low because that's where most of their points are coming from. Just getting, they're, they're getting fed the ball. Yeah, we spoke about it obviously before the game and then coming out at a half. Um, they've really been playing all well off each other as well, um, you know, especially for two bigs that can pass the ball that well. They've been a dangerous combination for, for the Mariners. Now 22 of their 35 coming with inside the paint. Yeah, Mariners 22 points in the paint, 22 points in the paint compared to Brooks 10 with 12 second chance points. So it'll be Baccarella to inbound here on the going right to left with Leung to walk things up. Nope. So now Leung here on the near side wing, Winston out on her. Over to Castillo, near side corner, going baseline, We're looking for options, trying to find McCray inside, hand off to Castillo, far side three, high arcing shot, just a bit short, and it'll be Winston on the rebound, trying to push up ahead of the pack to Stramski. Morales able to slow her down, and Baruch can set up in their defense. Cross court port, pass to Jackson, now inside to Grassler. Grassler's gonna turn, shot no good. Barton gets the rebound, goes right back up with it, and able to lay it in on the weak side. Yeah, Baruch there again, has to box out. For, so they, so, Mariners can't get those second chance points as we just saw again by Barton using her size. Ooh, and what a find there from Castillo. Not to cut you off there, Nico. Sorry about that. As Leung able to knock down the near side three. She's had the really hot hand. Yeah, despite Brook not getting the points in the paint, they're definitely getting it from outside. Leung now, that's her fourth three of the game, giving her 12 points. Ooh, an Aaron pass actually ended up into the waiting hands of Grassler. Ball swung around the perimeter, tipped away by Baccarella. And it'll go back to the Mariners. So now Precious Mitchell checking into the game. McCray will come to the bench. And they've had a nice two uh, rotation going between the fives. So Grassler, ooh, entry pass overthrown there. Ooh. Winston hits the the scores table hard. Everyone seems to walk away fine. The foul there's going to be on Leung. So now Stramski to inbound from in front of her own bench. Luke setting up in a zone here. Ball moving inside out. Now inside to Barton trying to find the cutting grassler. Instead gives it out top to Winston over to Stramski. Winston had the look, didn't take it. Now it's Crutcher on the far side. Shot no good. And it's going to be Mitchell who... Oh, they're going to call a foul on Baccarella. It looked like Mitchell hit the deck. They're going to say it was off the ball with Baccarella. It's going to be the team's second foul here in the third quarter. Entry pass to Grassler. It's ripped away from her. Baccarella comes away with the loose ball, and now it's Leung quickly into the front court. Baruch trying to push the tempo. Stramski picks her up. Leung curls back. Leung crossover move over to Morales here on the near side, looking for options. Ooh, trying to bounce pass inside to, was Morales. Looking for options, finds the cutter in Mitchell. Mitchell's fouled on the entry pass. Foul there's going to be number 24, Winston. Yeah, you just almost there, Barton almost with that steal, but luckily it, it deflected right back to Morales. And Castillo was trying to find position there on the interior. As she'll inbound now, Leung will have it, walk it up top. 
Winston out at her on the three-point line. Bounce pass, excuse me, pass handoff to Mitchell. Now inside to Baccarella, inside out to Castillo. Castillo, step back jumper. Shot around and off front iron, back iron, no good. And Barton comes away with it. We've seen Barton do some ball handling here. She gets it over to Crutcher on the far side. Yeah, Barton there. Seven offensive rebounds now. And as we see Grassler. Grassler fouled as she goes up for the basket. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. Morales playing inside physical. Like to see that on the big. Yeah, I think as for Baruch, you know that's coming where they're going to feed Grassler the ball in the paint. So make her work for every shot she's got. Don't let her, don't let, don't let her get anything easy. And off on the first free throw. Emily Grasser last season, oppressive 74% from the line on 79 attempts. But 0 for 2 here. But Barton able to get the offensive rebound and hit him with a scoop layup. Yeah, Barton now again with those second chance points. Now with her eighth offensive rebound of the game, giving her 14 points. And Grassler gets blown for the whistle there. Now on the smaller Lee Young, as it's, that's only Grassler's second here. Coming in on four minutes remaining here in the third. Lopez will check into the game as Baccarella comes to the bench. Pass here near side Castillo. And then she knocks it down over the outstretched hand of Crutcher, a big stop for the Bearcats. Cuts that lead back down to five. Yeah, great pass to the outside by for, to Castillo with a wide open three. Cross court pass now to Winston, now gives it to Grassler on the baseline. Mariners moving the ball nicely. It's Crutcher on the inside, no good. Grassler able to get the offensive board. Her shot, no good, gets her own rebound though. And she's able to push it through. Second and third chance opportunities there for the Mariners. Yep, now the Mariners with 16 second chance points. Now it's Crutcher ahead to Grassler, looking for options. She takes it up herself and able to get that one to rattle home. Yeah, Grassler and Barton, definitely for the Mariners, two, two of the leading scorers. Grassler now with combining for 28 points. Barton with 16, Grassler with 12. As Leon can't get that three to go. She had a nice look though, and she's had the hot hand here in the last couple of quarters. Winston right inside to Grassler, working against Leon, turns and shoots around and out, no good. Nice D there by Leung. Now balls outside to Winston. Gives it over to Grassler on the baseline. She goes against Mitchell. Pump fake and able to lay it in. And Coach Petrozos wants to talk things over with two minutes and 36 seconds left trying to stop the run here as it's a 45 to 34 lead for the Mariners. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel. Baruch Bearcats broadcasting. And Nico, for the last couple of minutes, it's been the Grassler-Martin show here for, for the Mariners really playing a, a two-woman game and able to find each other down low. Yeah, now Grassler. Again, we saw a little bit of a mismatch there on Leung for a second, but then in the paint. But then when they recovered and Grassler, then she just drives to the baseline and puts it up. She did a little pump fake to get rid of her defender, get rid of Morales, I think, that was guarding her to put up her the to put up off the glass. And they've got 30 of the 45 here for the Mariners. So really. Uh, leading the way, and, and you like to see what this is going to become here in the future. You're talking about a sophomore in Grassler and a Barton as a freshman, so the, the future could be bright here for the Mariners uh, women's basketball team. Definitely, especially, I believe, the two of the tallest players on the team, definitely taking advantage of their size and doing that two-man punch, like I mentioned many times earlier. That group hasn't seemed to stop yet. And now it's Castillo, pump fake here on the near side. Step back three, shot off back. Nope, it said it's gonna, it's gonna miss and it's gonna go back to the Mariners. Yeah, Castillo and Leung, also the lead scores for Baruch. As you just saw there, a miss by Castillo from three. But probably wanna see other players get come alive. 
Now inside out, three there by Jackson, no good. Another, another six-footer plays more of a stretch four, though. And they're going to say it went off the Bearcats last and will stay right there with the Mariners. 2.05 remaining here in the third quarter. Entry pass into Grassler. Nice steal there by Leung. And the Bearcats have numbers if they push. It's Castillo right into the paint. Her shot blocked from behind. Looking for options. Gives it out to, to Leung on the near side. Back to, back to Castillo here on the near side corner. Castillo driving into the paint. Step back. Ooh. Makes her defender fall, and she knocks it down over Crutcher. Nice move there to have Crutcher end up on her on her stomach as Castillo able to step back and knock down the mid-range jumper. Yeah, Castillo again in her bag. And we've seen that move she's done a couple of times where she drives and then pulls it back on a, a pullback crossover to create that separation. And as we just saw again right there for the, for the jump shot. So now it's Castillo over to Lopez on the far side. Roof. Uh, need to force some stops as they did on that last possession. And now it's Mitchell here on the near side looking for options, forcing, uh, passing it excuse me, inside to Castillo. Castillo even deeper inside to Morales who's unable to hit from the baseline and it'll go back to the Mariners. So now it's Crutcher on the far side over to Jackson up top. Grassler, entry pass inside to Barton. And nice spin move there. Fakes one way, goes the other, and able to lay it in. Yeah, Barton again down in the down low in the paint, getting as you keep seeing the Mariners keep feeding her and Grasser the ball. And she did a little shimmy shake from from right to left to put it up off the glass. She has 16 and 13 boards tonight. Now it's Grassler on the baseline. Shot no good. Jackson able to get the weak side board. She's fouled on the way to the basket. And the foul there is going to be on Morales. So Stramski comes into the game and Barton going to get uh, her first rest of the second half. Hopefully Baruch can capitalize off these minutes that she's not in the game. Grassler entry pass off the inbound, shot no good, able to go. They're gonna say. It's gonna be a. So they're gonna say it was on Grassler, that's her third. So again, Hopefully Baruch can capitalize off these uh, minutes that Barnes on the game. Still got to account for um, Grassler, but I mean, again, that's just one less person to account for. So that double-double, 14 points, 14 boards for the Mariners. Step back jumper, nice move there by Castillo. Can't get that one to go all the way around, halfway down and out, and Grassler pulls down her 15th rebound, and that will do it for three quarters of play. Baruch 36, Mariners 47. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. So it's the start of the fourth. Baruch have a little bit of a hill to climb. 
as they trail by 11, 47-36. Once again, stay tuned at 7.30 for the men's game as they'll be hosting the College of Old Westbury in our first Arc Arena doubleheader of the season. But we still got plenty of action here at the beginning of the fourth between the Lady Bearcats and the Merchant Marine Mariners. And just like that, we have our first whistle of the fourth quarter as Castillo was fouled trying to go baseline. Yeah, Castillo now, uh, with 18 on the game to go along with uh, two threes, along with Leon, who's also their leading scorer with 14 and four threes. So now Castillo straight on. Dry, ooh, nice step through move against Crutcher and able to get it finished with the right hand. Drew cut the lead back down to single digits for the Mariners, and, and Castillo's going to pick up Winston full court. Yeah, wait, great. Great shot like a steal on that play. Wait for her to control her momentum. She sped, went to her left, and then did the little pump fake like we've been seeing this game to her right for the open shot. Now Winston's fouled there by Baccarella. Kind of got turned around a little bit between a sea of bodies. That's going to be her third foul of the evening. And it'll be Mariner's ball right underneath. And to your point, Nico, I think we were, we were talking earlier on about Castillo really doing a lot of crossover moves, step back. We saw it even before in the third quarter where she dropped uh, Crutcher to the, to the floor as Baruch had a turnover here. It's going to be McCray into the front court. She'll slow things down, looking for options. Ooh, trying to force it into Castillo, and Crutcher comes away with it. Can't finish. Castillo bats it out. Ball still loose. It's going to be Lopez who comes away with it for the Bearcats. Ball still loose. She's quickly double teamed. Baruch need to push it into the front court and do. But back to the point about Castillo. That crossover setback move has actually opened up that move that we just saw from Castillo. The step through move that has been working well, well for her tonight. Is yeah, I mean, it's got her to 20 points. I mean, just being able to have a plethora of moves in your bag like that as a guard is really good. And it just keeps your defenders guessing all the time. As Grassler can't get that one to drop. Nice defense there by the Bearcats after the Leung bank shot on the other end. Nice find there to Lopez up top, uh, up ahead of the pack. And she's able to lay it in high off the glass. Just like that, an 11-point lead is five. Baruch clawing their way, pun intended, back into the ballgame. Yeah, it's going to be up to Baruch to take advantage of, take advantage of these Barton-less Barton -less minutes with Grassler only on the floor. So you're not having to worry about that two-man punch that they've been doing the whole game. And the last two buckets have been big as well. You have Leung making a nice move here on the near side, banking one off the glass, you know, true Tim Duncan style. And then you have uh, Castillo um, finding um, Lopez ahead of the pack for the layup. And I guess I just spoke into existence because Barton is about to check back in the game. That's the other thing. Good, good thing about Lopez scoring some buckets. You want to see where some of that score take some of the scoring load off of Castillo and Leung so far tonight. Yeah, Lopez. Yeah, that was her first bucket of the game. So yeah, it's just it's up to. I mean, having players like Castillo and Leung, you know, carry the load is great. But yeah, who else is going to come alive for the Bearcats down the stretch? So Winston off on the first five point game. And she rattles home the second. Make that a six-point game. And Leung quickly doubled. Castillo, bounce pass inside. Baccarella able to lay it in. Good find there. And to your point, we're starting to see some of those tertiary options here for the Bearcats as they set up in the full court press. And Castillo just a little, a little too overzealous there on the full court press. And it'll be her... Second foul of the afternoon of the evening, excuse me, as the Bearcats trail by four. So now Winston brings it across the timeline. Castillo all over her. Now Stramski on the near side gives it inside to Grassler. Yeah, we saw a double team, double team there on Grassler there. They have trying to deny her the ball, but Ooh. Winston a bit of a flat line shot, no good. Grassler hits the deck, and now Leung into the front court. 50 to 44, Baruch trail straight on three here from Leung, and she knocks it down, and she is feeling it. A big three there from Leung, cuts it to a three-point game, and that's going to uh, force a timeout for Coach Shields and the Merchant Marine Mariners. With 7.24 remaining, Baruch trail by three. What was once an 11-point game to start the quarter, Baruch have turned the tables and are right back into it. Yeah, what a nice shot by Leung there. Her fifth three now of the game. 
to give her 19 points. Her and Castillo combining for 39 of the Brooks 44. And again, that is now what Brooks, I believe, in terms of three, seven three of the game, seven of 18. But yeah, Brooks is looking to take their first lead of the game uh, entirely so far. They have not, they've been down almost always trying to, it's an uphill battle for them, but hope, looking to take the lead and trying to extend it in this final stretch of the game. Brooks, a perfect five of five as Castillo comes away with the steal and lays it in. It's a one point game. Make that a perfect six of six for 13 points. Pass out of the pack and it's Morales who comes away with it and Baruch have the ball with a chance to, to take the lead. It's Leung here on the near side. You saw a Ma the Mariners having a couple of defensive lapses there. Ball batted to keep it in bounds. Morales saves it, but it goes right to the waiting hands of Winston. And if you're Coach Shields of the Ma Mariners, I don't think that was what you went over inside that timeout. So now it's Stramski inside to Grossler, working against Morales. Step through move, left hand, can, can able to bank it off the glass and finish. Yeah, again, Grassler getting fed in the post. And she's gonna take advantage every time as we've seen this game now leading in the game. Grassler now with 14, or 16. So step back there from Castillo, knocks it down from the elbow. Back and forth action, Baruch trying to get, like you said, Nico, take their first lead of the night. And now it's Jackson gets stolen by Castillo. Castillo lays it in, and Baruch, down by 11, have come all, all, all the way back here in the first four minutes of the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a great steal by Castillo. Ooh, she almost got another one, and that gets the bench up uh, off their seats. Yeah, Castillo playing now what, full court press. Getting ev everyone starting to come alive in Arc Arena, the bench, the crowd. Trying to reignite this, trying to reignite this team. Castillo, Castillo has seven steals on the night. Almost got her eighth right there. As the Mariners only have three seconds to get it into the front court. Ooh, they just do. And I think, not sure Baruch knew how much time. And then Castillo comes away with another steal. I think McCray may have got a hand there as well. And Castillo is fouled as she was coming up the court. Only the second team foul here on the Mariners. So it'll be Baruch side out. But the Bearcats right now causing fits for the Mariners. Yeah, Castillo now, with, that is their eighth steal of the game. Going along with 26 points on the game. Not giving up. Brook having the lead, trying to extend it. So it's Castillo now up top. Bounce pass to Leung, near side. She's going to pull a three. Ooh, just a bit short. Stramski a little bit late to close out. Leung, though, uh... Feeling confident right now anytime she puts the ball up as she's been the hot hand for the Bearcats of late on the offensive end. Yeah, Leung, yeah, she has five of the team's seven threes. So Winston gives it off to Stramski on the near side. Now Barton, we've seen her less involved since she's got back into the game. Now Winston. Yeah, was looking to feed into Grass like they always been. And I think Grass put that over like a triple team on that one. Yeah, they're for forcing some shots, but Ben, uh, Fortunate for that one to go. So McCray has it up top. Over to Leung on the near side. Castillo, pump fakes, going against Crutcher. Gives it off to McCray. Oh, around it out, no good. And Barton comes down with the rebound. It was very nicely worked between uh, McCray and Castillo on the offensive end. Yeah, I think Castillo, she drew, she drew, she drew in two of defenders, leaving McCray open down low in the post, but just couldn't get that shot off the glass to go. So now it's Barton. Gives it off to Grassler on the far side. If that's where, you, if that's where she's going to catch the ball, you'll live with that. As the pass to, from Barton to Grassler is a roll pass, Winston has to force it. It somehow does hit iron. Very impressive just from the position. She basically turned and chucked. Yeah. And it'll be the Baruch's ball, though, as McCray was able to come down with it. 
And it's Castillo up to Leung up top. A little bit under four minutes remaining here in the ball game. Baruch trail 54-53. It's turning into a nail biter in a game that the Mariners felt pretty comfortable with after three quarters. And Leung strong to the basket and finishes it with the right hand. Yeah, great. Great switch up in pace for Leung. She waited for that screen from the left side and then just immediately drove right, right to the basket. Switching her momentum and laying it off the glass with the right hand. Almost slow played it a little bit until she had to pick up the pace. As the layup there, no good from Crutcher. And it's going to be a tra Wow. And it's going to be a travel on McCray as she hits the deck. I mean, I, I, we don't yeah, have the luxury of replay here, Nico, but I feel yeah, like she I, was def there was definitely some contact underneath. Yeah, she got forced out of bounds, I thought. But yet, looking, Barton in, Barton in the paint. Again, the Mariners are going to feed both Barton and Grasso. Looks like they're going to stick with that game plan for the rest of this game. And it worked for them for most of this ball game. However, Baruch have able have been able to claw their way back over the last six, seven minutes of action. Here's the shot from McCray. I think it was tipped on the way. No good. And it'll be Winston to bring it up with Castillo all over her. Three minutes remaining here in the ball game. Don't touch your dials, folks. It is a nail biter here at the Arc Arena. Grassler now has it over to Crutcher, over to Stramski. Stramski finds the cut in Grassler. Shot blocked. They're going to call jump ball, and it's going to stay right there with the Mariners. Yeah, wait for, wait for Casillo to recognize the help down low on the defense. Way to switch, from, switch, switch over to the other side to deny Grassler that, that, uh, that easy open shot. And a big, big play here, a big possession here, excuse me, as... The Mariners only have five seconds to shoot. Inbound to Grassler. Oh, they're going to call a foul as the ball gets stuck underneath. Yeah, again, don't give up anything easy. As we just saw there, Morales, even though she fouled, sending Grassler to the line instead of having that open, open shot off the weak side. So instead, have her earn, the, earn at the charity strike. So again, Grassler shot an impressive 74% from the line last year. 0 for 2. Make that 0 for 3 tonight, though, from the free throw line. And knocks down the second. It's 57-55. Leung will bring it into the front court for the Bearcats. Quickly doubled. And a bounce pass there to Baccarella. Goes out of bounds as the double team came. So it'll go back to the Mariners with 2.32 remaining here in the ball game. Yeah, Leung trying to get it over to, I believe it was. It was Baccarella on the Baccarella. far side. But yeah, it just went out of bounds. Ooh. So Winston gets fouled on the double team and she was, I think, slipping as well. It's going to be Castillo's third. And that's the fifth team foul. So that'll send, send number 24, Cairo Winston, to the line to shoot two. And something you got to be careful of if you're Baruch now with the Mariners being in the bonus. And Winston off on the first. Yeah, we gotta say that the difference of this game could be some of the missed free throws that has allowed Brooks to stay in it. And Winston can't hit either. Morales on the rebound. Baruch trail by two. Leung over to Castillo. Castillo working on Crutcher. Coach Catrozos wants them to slow things down. Castillo here on the near side wing. Crossover into the lane. Spin move. Gives it outside to McCray. McCray straight on jumper. Shot off right iron. And it'll be Grassler who comes down with the rebound for the Mariners. Ooh, a head pass from Winston right into the waiting hands of Castillo. Castillo now trying to go past Barton, trying to bounce it inside to Leung. Winston able to get her hands on it. Nope, they're going to say it was a jump ball, and Baruch's going to be at the benefit of that. He'll stay right there with the Bearcats. Yeah, I think that was Castillo's nice steal of the game, but trying to find Leung down low, it just ended up in a turnover. 
to her credit, though, six assists, only one turnover. That's that's a turn. That's a assist to turnover ratio. You'll love as a coach. And Leon clears it out as he come as she comes back on top. Takes the pick from McCray. Step back three from Leung. Leung, ooh, around it all the way out. Nice rebound there by Baccarella. And Brooke get a fresh 20. A minute 38 remaining here in the ball game. Castillo comes for the handoff. Crutcher out on her. Crutcher's main assignment tonight has been Castillo when she's been in the ball game. As Crutcher's had now 20 minutes of action as Castillo's three around and out. No good. Baccarella fighting with Barton. Barton quickly doubled in the backcourt. Over to Winston on the far side. And now it's... Crutcher on the far side corner, back up top to Winston. 20 to shoot, minute and 14 remaining here in the ballgame. Entry pass now on a Grassler. Step through move, shot way short. Ball still loose. It's Leung who comes down with it for the Bearcats. And great defense there by the by Morales on the inside. Nice entry pass into McCray. Lays it in, and we're tied at 57. McCray turned around and, and was right, had the, 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 the lane just parted for her, and she was able to lay it in. Yeah, like a party at the Red Sea there. No one in sight of McCray. Castillo recognized it, and she get, and she passed it into her in the paint for her seventh assist. 57-57. Foul under, off the ball by number 12, McCray. That's going to be her third. And that's unfortunate because that'll send Barton to the free throw line. Barton's first free throws of the season. Yeah, but so far in this game, the Mariners only two of eight from the charity strike, which is now two of nine, which has definitely helped Bearcat, the Bearcats stay in this game instead of it being pushed out to a, a farther lead. And it's gonna be a quick timeout. O oh for two was Parton. At the free throw line, to your point, two for ten now at the line on the night. And uh, what was, I mean, what, what a game right now we have. We have 43.4 seconds remaining, and it's all in front of Baruch. Yeah, Baruch, down this whole game, it's been, a, it's been an uphill battle thus far, but now they've tied it up at 57. And just looking to pull away in these last 43 seconds or so, we have left here in regulation. So Brooke going to come out of the huddle. I mean, you've you got to assume right now it's going to be, I mean, either Castillo or Leung with the ball ball in their hands trying to create some offense. But, you know, we saw it last possession. They, they've been they've been able to find their teammates. Obviously, 10 assists combined between the two of them, only four turnovers, and they're able to find, like, in that last possession, McCray, who was able to tie it up. Yeah, and, you know, Baruch combining for, I mean, Castillo and Leung combining for Baruch's uh, 40, 57 points. Um, yeah, just continuing to, they're going to hold the ball and they're going to try to see who's open, feed it to the best, to the best option to get the high percentage shot, and we'll see down the stretch what they'll do. Castillo gets the ball in the corner, corner three, ooh, off front iron, no good, it's Barton trying to corral it, eventually does, and it's going to be timeout for Coach Shields. With 33.6 seconds left, what the, what the, what that allows you to do, though, Root decided to go for the two-for-one option, so they'll potentially have an op opportunity at a last-second shot here, regardless of what happens with the Mariners on the offensive end. Yeah, after that timeout play, you can see it was a drawn-out play, almost executed, allowing for Castillo to get open in the corner there, but just missed front iron on the three. But, yeah, like you said, um, now two-for-one, so Root still has a chance to either tie or win this game, assuming, you know, the Mariners, if they, you know, whatever they do at the free throw line, because, I mean, I think the, aren't, are the Bearcats in the bonus? Yes, they are. The Mariners are in the bonus, so the if they get fouled, they would, uh, they would go to the line, but, so Baruch has to be careful not to foul here and play some tight defense, as it'll be Grossler to inbound right in front, right in front of her own bench. I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm not even so worried about the Mariners, because they haven't this well during the, throughout the game. They haven't shot from the free throw line particularly well. So, you know, that might be the go-to for Baruch to maybe just send them to the to the charity strike. So now it's Grassler at the at the free throw line inside to Barton. Bad ball batted away by Morales. Back inside to Grassler. Grassler trying to go through three bodies. Can't finish. It's Stramsky who's able to put it back in 
on the weak side, and it's going to be a timeout for the Bearcats. They trail 59 to 57 with 16.8 seconds remaining here in the ballgame. Yeah, I think there's so much attention being put on Grassler and Barton because that's who's been, you know, dictating this game for the Mariners with Grassler and Barton combining for the Mariners 39 of their 59 points. So, yeah, when you they obviously Baruch, they play good defense there, but just couldn't account for the open, the open guy. And I believe that was, who was that? Um... Stramski? Stramski, excuse me, yeah. To, you know, just get that second chance point, that, that rebound and put up for the for off the glass. Yeah, I mean, and I'll give credit to Morales. I think she's played great interior defense when she's been in the ball game tonight. 15 minutes, and, you know, maybe she's not doing it on the offensive end. She is doing a ton on the defensive end. Two steals and a block, uh, throwing three rebounds. Granted, you know, maybe the rebounds are not, uh, you know, not – you're not expecting tons of rebounds, especially with the, the two bigs that the Mariners have. But I think on, you know, body-to-body, man, woman-to-woman defense, she's been exceptional against some of the bigs of the Mariners. Yeah, you see she's gotten a few deflections of batted balls there. Has the inbound here to Castillo on the near side wing. Castillo into the lane. She'll pull up from the elbow, and she knocks it down. And it's going to be a timeout for Coach Shields. Only four seconds come off the clock. It's 59-59. But credit to Castillo, they're able to get to her spot on the elbow and knock down that, that mid-range jumper. Yeah, Castillo, you, she's like even kill. She, the game just comes naturally to her. She doesn't force anything. She's very calm and collected, very patient. And, you know, right there, she just waited for a space to open up for her to take that 15-footer. 15, uh, 15 and to your point, kind of just took, took what's given to her. Mm-hmm. Um, they gave her the mid-range, and she knocked it down in a very, very clutch situation. Yeah, so both you see Mariners and Brew going tit for tat here on, on both sides. And I didn't think I was going to say this today because I thought the, the, the big, like we've talked about all game for the Mariners, have been solid. But it doesn't necessarily behoove you in an ISO situation here at the end of the ball game when you need to kind of create a basket. So yeah. I'd love to see, I mean, if they can – they're probably going to still stick to their bread and butter. They do have 12.4 seconds to work with, so they could leave some time for the Bearcats. But I'm very curious to see how they're going to come out of here because they haven't had great shooting nights, or, or they sorry, they haven't had a high quantity of shots from some of their guards, i.e. Winston's only taken six shots, Shramsky's only taken five shots, Crutcher's only taken six shots, and Stamsky and Crutcher are two for 11 combined as Winston now gets the inbound. Ten seconds remaining here in the ballgame. Leung out on her. Winston to drive. Gives it off to Crutcher. Crutcher had the look. Didn't want to take it. Trying to force it inside to Barton. Leung over to Castillo. She's going to have to pull. Will they count it? They count it. Castillo hits a runner for the win. And that'll do it. It's a walk-off runner floater. And the Bearcats are going to win this ball game 61-59. to The Mariners can't believe it, but the Bearcats are going to walk off here. What a floater by Castillo driving into the lane. Wow, what a play. What a great play by Castillo. I think now that puts her on the... Well, that they still... And wait a second, but all the refs are coming together here, so we're going to see if this is going to count. The initial ref on the far side told us this was going to count. And we're going to overtime. Where instant replay would be really would be really useful. So they're so they're gonna go to overtime after what we thought was a walk off runner from Castillo. What a what a swing of emotions. I mean, granted, it, it, they have to get the full length of the court in practically three seconds. Castillo able to hit it as as they run. And so we're trying to see if we have an opportunity to, to look at the video, but to see we, we have a, a YouTube feed going, but I don't know if that I'm not I'm not totally sure about the legality of what they're allowed to use, what they're not allowed to use. So they're, the Mariners are obviously on the floor thinking they're going to overtime. The, the, the Bearcats want to get more clarity on what happened there. But 
a huge swing of emotions. And if we do have to go to overtime, um, see how the Bearcats handle this. Obviously, second to go, they thought they won the ball game down by 11 to start the fourth in crazy walk-off fashion yeah. with Castillo hitting a floater, now potentially having to play five more minutes after, I mean, obviously it's only two games deep, but your best 10 minutes of basketball so far this season. Yeah, and just again, wait for Castillo to just go the full length of the court and able to put up that shot and for it to drop like that. Whether it counts or not, that was really impressive. So, still looking at the replay. I mean, I don't mind five more minutes of this. Yeah, I mean, this. I mean, at least how this fourth quarter has gone. But yeah. again, if you're if you're Baruch, you you know, you have all the emotions of of thinking you just walked off. If anything, we can just say that I think the. Taking a look here. I'm still not sure if this is admissible here in the ball game with uh, you know five minutes on the clock. Both teams have now taken the court. So even the video shows that it came off after or after the buzzer. So it all gets sorted. Um, and we're going to get five more minutes. But if anything, the momentum is on the Bearcat side right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the only thing that is the only momentum, I think, in the last quarter of basketball that the Mariners have is potentially that shot not counting. And if that's what you're really banking on, to your point, yes, Baruch has all the momentum. So overtime is underway. It's Winston on the far side. Takes the pick from Barton. Entry pass into Barton. Ball's loose. She's quickly doubled underneath. Aaron pass right into the waiting hands of Leung. And Elise is going to push into the front court. So Castillo, step back jumper. Mid-range, off back iron. No good. Grassler on the rebound for the Mariners. Yeah, we talked about, are the Mariners going to just stick to their game plan of feeding Grassler and Barton the ball? As, I As Grassler <laughs> knocks down the baseline jumper, we haven't seen much of a mid-range to ex exterior game no, we for just, her. So really impressive that she was not able to knock that one down. Yeah, just a bunch of, just a, a, a post, mostly a post-up game for her and Barton just to get down on the paint. Castillo right into the lane. She slips and falls. And it's going to be a jump ball, so it's going to stay with the Bearcats. Craig gets picked from Barton. Barton hits the deck ball, still loose up ahead of the pack to Grassler, and she got, she was able to leak out. Barton, nice assist there from the seat of her pants. Yeah, it's that two here, that's two man punch by Barton and Grassler. And Leon gets picked pocketed from behind from Winston, who's able to lay it in, and it's going to be a timeout for Coach Petrozos as the Mariners quickly open a six point gap here to start the overtime period. Yeah. Two costly back-to-back -back turnovers by the Bearcats. And I can see why Coach Petrozos wants to talk things over. Definitely slow down some of the momentum that the, the Mariners have built up here in the first minute and a half of overtime. So, yeah, hopefully we see as the Mariners, Grassler and Barton, Gra Barton with 20 to go along with seven. She has a double-double in this game. 20 to go along with 17 rebounds and three assists. And 
and Grassler with 23 and 12. So both of them combined for 43 of the Mariners' 65 points. Yeah, 34 rebounds combined between Barton and Grassler, so definitely having a, uh, a monster game. As now Leung has it up top, gives it over to McCray. Inside to Castillo, almost gets stripped outside to Leung. Leung's going to pull the near side three. Off front iron, no good. Foul's going to be on the floor, and it will be on Crutcher underneath. Crutcher, excuse me, as it'll be Bearcat basketball underneath. Now Leung up top, hand off to Castillo. Castillo crossover move, step back two, deep two off front iron. Ball's batted around right into the hands of Stramski as McCray Baccarella collide here. Both, both players able to get back into position as Castillo comes away with the steal and able to pump fake and lay it in. And she comes up hobbling on that play and it's very rare that you see it, but that is a double-double for points and steals for Mia Castillo. Yeah, what a great, again, Castillo using, way to, way to change up her momentum. She drove downhill quick and then stopped for the pump fake and then put up off the glass for the easy bucket. Just allowed her defender to fly by. And we just saw, yeah, she, uh, on that play, I think she uh, hurt her calf there, but she's limping a little bit, but she's gonna stay in. Yeah, Castillo now with 30 on the game. To go along with 10 steals, that is a double-double for her. Not the, not the usual sorts of double-double here, but now Morales has it going baseline, gives it off to Castillo, thinks about the three, she'll pull. Shot off backboard, no good. And Barton comes down with the rebound, coming in on the halfway point of over the overtime period. It's a four-point ball game, 65-61, Baruch Trail. If you're just tuning in, and I hope you're not, Castillo had a, hit a runner as time expired, just a half a second too late, as now it's Grassler on the travel, and it'll go back to the Bearcats. Yeah, it seems like the Mariners, Grassler and Barton continuing to just take over this game. Um, again, we haven't seen a lot from other players like Winston or the, the guards, excuse me, as... Castillo off on the three, but McCray able to snatch the rebound on the weak side. Bounce pass to Leung. Ball stolen there by Stramski, trying to find McCray on the interior. Castillo picking up Grassler. Grassler waiting for some teammates, almost loses it. And now it's Winston on the, on the Bearcat symbol. Yeah, can't have those turnovers late in the game like that. Jackson pull up three, around and out, no good. Barton able to get the rebound, trying to create some space, can't finish. That one also goes around and out. It's McCray on the rebound, she's fouled underneath. And it's gonna be McCray who goes to the free throw line as the Bearcats are Actually, now both teams checked out are now in the bonus. So unfortunate for Bearcats for that the Mariners didn't score in that possession, but Barton, you can just she's such a just her size. She makes it, it makes her such a a hard player to you know box out to get the boards. She's a force to be reckoned with. Nick McCray off left iron on the first. Castillo's played every minute of the of the game so far. Leung's played 41, with Baccarella playing 37. Uh, as McCray goes one of two from the free throw line. Nice defense there by Leung, pestering Winston all the way down the court. Winston into the lane, shot no good. Loose ball right into the hands of Grassler. Her shot no good. She's able to get her own rebound. Some contact there, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. And if you're Coach Controls, I think you can live with that. Grassler's had a, had a weak performance so far at the free throw line, one of four. And I mean, I'd say a weak, uh, not the best performance on the field either, 11 of 27. Yeah, again, the team, as a team, the Mariners are two of 10, or make that three of 11. But yeah, again, like I keep saying, don't let them get anything easy, have them earn it. So a 20-20 game now for Grassler. She knocks them both down. 25 points, 20 boards. Castillo, cross-court pass, dangerous. 
Over to Morales, trying to get it inside to McCray, and it's gonna go off of Jackson last. You saw the Mariners, they're doing a little bit of a half-court press there. But it left a lot of, see that wide open space down low in the paint. You saw McCray was just standing there, wide open under the basket. Just a little too late of a pass. Leung into the lane. She's fouled on the way up. And we will go to the line to shoot two. It's going to be number 24, Winston. That's her third. And Leung knocks down the second, 67-64 ball game. As Winston has it, Leung all over her. Chasing her down the court. Nice play there by Leung. As long as you get down the court faster than her, you can't get into any situation that'll get you into foul trouble as Jackson's going baseline and able to finish it off the glass. Castillo loses the handle. And it's going to be Winston who comes away with it. And there's going to be a 30-second timeout here for the Mariners with 45 seconds left. And Baruch, credit to them for coming all the way back in this one, but maybe just a little too much here late in the late going. Also, maybe potentially a little gassed with some of these players out on the floor. Yeah, I mean, Castillo's played all minutes, like you mentioned, with Liang also playing a lot, a lot of minutes as well. I think 43 and 41. Or yeah, 44 minutes for Castillo and 42 for Leung. Obviously playing the entire game, but two of the players that are leading the team in, in scoring, combining for 53 of Brooks' 64 points. So yeah, it's just, it's just hard to maintain that energy throughout the entire game. And it can lead to sometimes, it can get, it can get a little messy in terms of uh, possessions of the ball and all the other stuff, but, so we got 45 seconds left to go. So it'll be Stramski to inbound. So it'll be Barton to inbound right in front of the scorer's table here. Inbound to Grassler, it's gonna be an over the back there from Morales, so they'll send Grassler to the line to shoot two. And at this point, Baruch may need to extend the game just a bit. Yeah. Baruch now switching to the half court press defense. And trying to just deny them the ball, but it looks, it looks, like, it's gonna be, it looks like it's gonna be the foul game here on out for Baruch. As Grassler is able to knock down the first, she's hit three of three here in the overtime period after going one of four during the regular session. As Castillo gets quadruple teamed underneath, loses it and then she's quick to foul Winston who'll go to the line to shoot two. It's gonna be Castillo's fourth. Foul of the game. Is it five or six if you're foul? So Winston two of five now on the evening from the line. Off on the second, but Barton able to get an offensive rebound. Gives it out to Jackson. She's quickly fouled by Leung. And that's her second. Jackson's first free throws on the season. The only shot, she shot an impressive 73%, granted only on 11 free throws last year, but someone who feels confident from the line as she knocks down the first.
And off on the second. Castillo on the rebound. Baruch's going to push. Needs to pull up three. Straight on. She knocks it down. Castillo there. Nice way to just, you know, push ahead. Still trying to fight. As... Yeah, that was a hard foul there from Marabella, excuse me, um, Baccarella. She did a little, I think, she, yeah, she pushed down uh, Jackson. And Jackson off on the first. Six point game, 17 seconds remaining here in overtime. And gets the second one to fall. So it's Leung back to Castillo. Castillo going to push. Castillo has to pull up high. Arcing three off right iron. No good. McCray gets the rebound. Leung going to pull a three on her on the far side wing. Shot goes out of bounds. And it will go back to the Mariners. And that should just about do it. It's a seven-point game with four seconds remaining here at the Arc Arena. And that will... As Baruch's not going to foul, and it's going to end 74 to 67 in a hard-fought loss. I know, you know, you come into the game to win the game, and and Baruch, and Baruch now falling down 0 and 2 on the season. With that said, both very close games, and a lot of positives you could take from both of them. Yeah, uh, Baruch. Well, for Baruch, despite them losing, yeah, the, a lot of positives are, you know, Castillo again. She had another great game, 33 points on 35 percent shooting. Uh, and Leung, uh, both carrying the load, 23, uh, 7 of 20 shooting, but they they combined for, she had five threes, along with Kasiu, who had three, combining for eight of the Brooks 21. But yeah, I mean, they just didn't give up. They continued to fight throughout the whole game. It was an uphill battle. They did take the lead at one point. Um, almost got excited there, thought they won the game on that little floater from Castillo at the buzzer, but unfortunately not. But yeah, just a lot of, Still early in the season, a lot to build on, you know, for the Bearcats. Uh, their next game against Pratt, it says it was canceled, so I, the game after that will be against uh, Ramapo College in New Jersey. But yeah, it's just, you gotta, just on, on defense, especially in this game, the Mariners, they focused a lot down low with uh, Grassler and Barton doing that two-man punch that, you know, despite them having size on Baruch, Baruch tried to hold their own. But, yeah, it came down to a size thing. You got most of Baruch's players are, like, five foot and up, or all staying, like, five five. And, you know, the Mariners, they just took advantage of that. But Baruch, will, they'll, they'll figure themselves out going down the stretch. And if you want to see Baruch at home, their next home game will be on November 26th against Albertus Magnus College here at the Arc Arena, part of a doubleheader. Um, that's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. But we are about 25 minutes away from the tip here of the men's home opener here at the Arc Arena against the College of Old Westbury. Please tune in at 7.30. Once again, women tr falling tonight 0-2 uh, behind a 674-67 overtime loss against the Merchant Marine Academy Mariners. So that'll do it for us, and we'll be back at 7.30 for men's action. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. <laughs>